Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to use GMesh for SC to analyze a composite be a uh, box beam. First, let's give some basic information about this problem. The beam, uh, the box cross section is shown in this finger. As we can see that there are six layers in each webs. And uh, the material properties is given here are given here, and this beam is uh, uh, ten inches long and subject to one thousand bending moment about the axis, and it is clamped at one end, and at that end is free. And uh, now let's analyze this problem, according to mechanics of stretching node. The analysis procedure is divided into three parts: homogenization, structure analysis, and dehomogenization. So first, let's perform MSG homogenization. Okay, let's go to CDM Hub and launch GMesh for SA or Swiftcom. Note that uh, uh, GMesh for SA is just uh, the GUI based on GMesh. And the, the com, uh, commutational ability is Swiftcom. So first, let's create a new file. Let's call it box. Okay, and uh, input the material properties. U1, E2, J1, 2, J1, 3, J2, 3. Mu one two, mu one three, and mu two three. Okay. This is my material properties of the properties for each lamina. And then go to common SG. Let's create the geometry of this cross section. Some common beam cross section has already, uh, been coded into this software, so it can easily generate. Choose box and the composites. Let's define the layout. Click fast generate. Select the material properties we just defined. And if you go back to see, this is our uh, boxed cross section. In each la uh, each play is zero point zero zero five inch, and uh, the layout is given here and okay so the first we define the upper edge of or upper web of this box B so we it should be negative 15 degree apply thickness 0 0.005 Click add. Okay. And then the left edge it is negative negative fifteen fifteen repeated three times. Click add. Okay. And then the bottom edge is positive fifteen repeated six times. Click add. And uh, the last one is the right edge. 15, negative 15, repeated three times. Add, close. And input the width and height of this cross section. Click add. Then you see the geometry of this crossed, uh, of this boxed cross section has been generated. 
and then we can go to mesh, click mesh control. We want to get the uh. We don't want to use triangular mesh, so we combine triangular to be the uh uh. Uh, to be the square mesh, and let's set the mesh size to be zero point five. Okay, and the generate two D mesh, and uh, to see it clearly, we can okay. We can zoom in. See, the mesh has already been created, and we want to get a more accurate result. So we can set the order as second order element, and then we are ready to perform homogenization. Click homogenization B model. Note, uh, please note that here we need to choose the material coordinates. Click save and run. Okay, the result is given here. As you can see, this result should be the same or very similar to the results given here. The small difference may comes from the mesh different mesh algorithm or different mesh size. And once we have these properties, we can perform the structure analysis. Let's close this and uh, create a new file called it uh, B. Click OK. And uh, we can directly build, a, build our beam using the the capability of GMesh. So this is 10 inches long. And uh, we need to define the properties of this beam. So select this ascent structure properties beam. It says select the part. Select this one. Click E and Q. And then it allows us to select the properties file we just uh, uh, created this .k file. Click OK. And then we can go to uh, one d mesh generate. Maybe the mesh size is too too big. Uh, let's close this and uh, set the size to be somehow small. Let's see. Okay. So the reason it didn't show up is I, in order to see the mesh in the previous example, I just uh, set the mesh point to be invisible so actually the mesh already generated this is too uh, too f fine we don't need to have this fine mesh but it doesn't matter it still can run very fast let's say uh, the mesh is ready then I can go to calculate write MP file it says rent p file is generated and import structure properties okay and then define step. Here we need to manually input uh, type some command or keyword to define the boundary conditions and uh, the loading condition. Calculix share the same uh, format as Abax input file. So for the users who are familiar with uh, Abax Abax MP file, it is easy to use this software. This is my boundary conditions. It says at the point one, it uh, fixed the 
degree of freedom from one to six, which means if that is a uh, clapped uh, end, and then I define my step. This is a static loading and uh, a concentrate load at uh, acting at uh, point two. Uh, six means the moment uh, with respect to the axis. The magnitude is one thousand. And the uh, end step. Okay. Save it. And uh, close this. And then click run. It says job finished. Close this. And we can see the results. <coughs> you see. We can see the displacement, rotation, and uh, strain at the ghost point and uh, strain at the node point, and also the stress resultants. <coughs> the last step is to perform the uh, MSG dehomogenization to get the local stress and strain distribution. So let's open the struct genome file we just created we first created this box.go click OK now this is the file we first build and now we can directly go to dehomogenization click beam and input this structure responses which we can find from the results file uh, calculate in the structure analysis let's say we want to see the, the uh, local stress stream field at the middle of this beam, which means at the point of x1 equal to 5 inch. And let me input the structure response responses. You can find this data at the uh, results file generated by the structure analysis. Once one. E to the minus four. Cut part. Oh, this is zero. Okay, this is zero and this is one. And the uh, cut part two is four point five, one six, eight nine, six e to the minus seven. This is the seven point zero seven, nine zero six six e to the point ne negative three. Click save and run. Now the results will, will automat uh, automatically show up. This is, uh, you can see that we can see the magnitude of displacement displacement in U1 direction, displacement in U2 direction, displacement in U3 direction, and also we can see the local string field and uh, also the local stress field. You notice that we only have uh, like we, we only create a stress genome in a 2D sense, but we can get the stress and the string components uh, for the 3D case, which means we have all the stress and the six stress component and the six string components. And in order to further illustrate the accuracy and the efficiency of MSG, we compared the results with 3D FEA model and this is the results at the end of this document. We compare this is the sigma one one uh, at a, a certain cross at the cross section at uh, x one equal to five uh, throughout the whole cross section, and uh, you can see the result is uh, agrees well agrees well with the three D FEA with results and uh, you can see all the details you can find all the details in this document 
I hope you have learned some some uh thing new from this video. Thank you.